Fire Brigade, 2 Lumbasilar. In a city whose houses were built entirely of wood until the 20th century, fires regularly swept through Istanbul, sometimes causing fearful destruction. The firemen known as two lumbagor, pump men, had their own customs and costume, and were colorful characters who inspired writers and painters. This band of unruly and reckless men were volunteers almost fanatically dedicated to the fire brigade, which they joined more in the spirit of a sport for the excitement rather than any philanthropic motive. The predominance of wooden houses in Istanbul had begun after the Great Earthquake which took place during the reign of Bayezid II, 1481-1512. Wood was a cheap and easily available building material, and timber architecture was attractive into the bargain. However, an overturned brazier or a single spark could start a fire which spread quickly in dry weather, and when helped by strong winds might destroy whole neighborhoods. Prior to the introduction of portable pumps, fires had been fought by means of water carried in buckets from local fountains, wells and large rain tubs kept for the purpose in every garden. This ineffective method was replaced by fire pumps during the so-called Tulip Era of 1718-1730, which is remembered largely as a time when the court devoted itself to the pursuit of pleasure, yet in fact also saw the introduction of many innovations in Ottoman Turkish life. David Gersak Aga, a French convert who had entered the palace employ, built the first First fire pump, and Grand Vizier Nafsahorli denied Ibrahim Pasa established a class of firefighters attached to the Janissary Corps equipped with the new fire pumps. When Mahmud II abolished the Janissaries Corps in 1826, the firefighters were reorganized as the Fire Brigade Regiment attached to the new modern army which replaced the ancient Janissaries. In 1868 Istanbul Fire Brigade was placed under the auspices of Istanbul Municipality. Each neighborhood team of firefighters consisted mainly of local tradesmen and young unmarried men who belonged to the Two Lumba Guild. Although many of the latter were rough young men, some were genteel young clerks drawn to join the guild by a sense of adventure and the romantic aura of the organization. When the alarm was called all the two lumbacks down tools or pens as the case might be and rushed to the fire station. The two lumbacks had a distinctive uniform, consisting of a minton or cotton shirt, knee breeches and shoes known as camerson. The two lumbuck shirt had a round neck and a badge specifying to which team the wearer belonged. There was a hierarchy of rank, indicated by stripes on the sleeves. Four stripes denoted the Burrensi Rice or first captain who rode on horseback in front of the water pump and held a whip as a sign of office. The second captain had three stripes and it was his job to direct the firefighting work. His deputy was the Fenersi or Lamp Man, who also had three stripes the central one of which was a zigzag. The two striped Baryukas or hose men carried the brass end pieces which were fixed to the hoses, and the single stripe cook and siler carried the hoses. Four others carried the water pump, and altogether each firefighting team consisted of 22 people. There was fierce rivalry between each pump and its personnel to race first to the fire, and this has been described by the folk poet Vas Foka, who was also a celebrated two lumbuk. On the way to the fire and even more so on the way back it was considered a tremendous feat, almost a triumph, to pass the pump in front. The two lumbacks called this, chasing the pump. To be passed by a pursuing pump was a bitter and shameful defeat, which was why the captains did not allow the firemen to look back when on the way to a fire, in case a fight broke out with a group trying to catch them up. Two lumbacks had their own customs and traditions. When a two lumbuck got married, his fellow firefighters held a ceremony known as, closing the groom. Every so often they would organize circumcision ceremonies for the poor children of their neighborhood, and diverse entertainments. After returning from the fire, all the two lumbacks would visit the local Turkish bath or hammam if it were daytime, and the hammam proprietor would not charge them. As well as rivalry between each team and the neighborhood fire brigade, there was also fierce competition between the brigades of different neighborhoods. Sometimes, on the other hand, fraternities were established between different brigades and they would join forces to fight fires together. The fire alarm was raised by watchers known as Koslu, who kept guard in the fire towers and woke up the captain of the tower immediately, saying, Ugga, you have a child, and the captain would reply, a girl or a boy? Girl meant the districts of Urtwilder, Gulata and the Bosphorus to the north and east of the Golden Horn, and Boy Istanbul proper south of the Golden Horn. The captain would take a flare out of the cupboard to notify the gun battery at Agadiai, and they would fire seven rounds of cannon to rouse the alarm. The captain also sent out news to the watchmen in the neighborhood affected to wake the inhabitants. A lamp would remain lit on the tower until the fire was extinguished.